Hey, it's time for Point and Shoot. This week, we talk about shots from the hip. No, not shots of the hip. These are shots taken from the hip. Some pretty cool stuff. We also do a little preview of my most proudest, favoritest shot with my smartphone. It's actually a discussion that we're starting up in the smartphone photographers community. So go ahead, check it out. Hey folks, how y'all doing? Aunt Pruitt here. Hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. It's time for another weekly hangout on there with the smartphone photographers community. When we get together, we like to call this little thing point and shoot. Uh, each week when we get together, we talk about different tips and tricks to make you a better smartphone photographer because everybody here in this panel and the community believes that the little camera that you walk around in your pocket can take some really, really good photos. We just don't necessarily take advantage of these little cameras power. You know what I mean? Um, each week well, I'm also joined by some moderators and community members to talk about all of these different tips and tricks. And we also take a look at a weekly photo challenge that's proposed by a member. Sometimes those things get pretty daggum hard. Sometimes they're a little bit easier. This week, mm, I thought it was a little difficult, but we'll get into that in a minute. So I'm going to allow these guys to introduce themselves. We'll start with my man looking like the, uh, what in the world? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> We're going to, okay. <laughs> this is a first. <laughs> We're going to say hello to my man, Mike Sweeney, over in sunny California. Me and not, the Minions say hello. Not a Minion. Not a Minion. You know, we are both bald and whatnot, but we're not Minions, I promise you. Jeez. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing well, sir. I'm doing well. Good. It's uh, 85 and 100% humidity, so. Oh, so you're sm just uh, melting over there, basically. It's, it, it's a toasty day. Jeez, I got time. I got my iced tea. It's One a, of the best best burgers it's on the planet. The habit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice name. Nice name. The habit. Yeah, they, they put together a mean burger. That's what's up. Appreciate you joining us. And I actually, I'm pretty happy that you got some freaking hot weather for once. So <laughs> that's all right. Share the love, huh? Yeah. Normally, normally he's over there with his nice Hawaiian shirts, just chilling. You know, a couple of cold guys next to him, and he's like, "Life is good." But no, that's not right. today. He's sweating. I love it. About damn time. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you joining us, bro. Next up. My man down in Tejas, Mr. Michael King. What's happening, man? Well, it's 84 and 70% humidity. Other than that, really good. Oh, see, you're doing better than Sweeney. That's what's up. About yeah, time it's time, it's about time that someone's hotter <laughs> than us. <laughs> man, that's what's up, man. Good to see you out here. Um, I don't know my temperature here. I know it's better than what it was last week. And I know I left a tornado back in my hometown. Um, so, Seriously? Yeah, so here in Chateau wow. Ghetto, it's a lot better. Um, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get rolling into this little thing like we normally do. Um, first off, let me offer my apologies to the viewers and listeners. My voice is wonky today because I've been talking a lot more over the last four days you having a guy that's an introvert and doesn't really like to talk, speak for almost 24 hours a day, it's it's going to catch up to me. So <laughs> sorry about that, folks. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the challenge this week. Um, let me share my screen. Let's pop over to this one. <laughs> First, I need to close that other little window that popped up so y'all don't see that. Don't tell anybody. Okay. There we go. You guys see my screen? Yes, sir. All right. So there this we week's this week's challenge was from my man Edwin Boatswain over in the UK, and he called it "Shoot from the Hip." Um, dang, I probably should pull up the description. How did this go? There it is. Shoot from the hip. A chance to get a different perspective and maybe try a different technique. Shooting from hip or chest height without looking at your shooting, looking at what you're shooting to capture a scene. 
So that's the key there is without looking at what you're trying to shoot, you know. Um, I thought this was going to be interesting, and the first thing that came to my mind was we're going to get people not able to get focus that they want or maybe some blur or anything like that. Is that what you guys expected when you read that? Pretty yeah, much. Pretty That's much. That's about what I got for half of them. <laughs> there was a couple of them that were that. There were some that were really clear, but there was also some that were awfully blurry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and I like that. I, it was going to give you a different perspective for sure. Um, and then it also tested the, the I guess you can say, the hardware and, and software of your your camera just to see what would it do in a situation like that so as usual we're going to highlight a couple of these shots and discuss them critique them and so forth and uh we'll go from there so let me pick on this one here uh, this is actually from the guy that won the challenge um i voted for it i can't say that it's a great shot or anything like that but it did get my attention um because of the lead in line you have this gentleman standing here and the next person and the next person and you look at their feet it looks like they're in motion and then you have this little whatever this is these crates here and it immediately took me up to rise up with fresh thinking I like that like I said it's not the, a clear shot or anything like that but it definitely made my brain do a little something different as Sweeney has said before normally our brains like to go from left to right as we're going across shots. But mine, I went from here all the way up just about every time. I closed the window, went and looked at some other photos, popped back in, and I did the exact same thing. I just sort of followed this trail. But I like that shot. Now, he used a 1 plus 1 with a little bit of drama uh, filter inside a step seed and some slight vignetting. I can't see the vignetting, but anyway, what are you guys' thoughts? Let's start with you, King. Yeah, it was interesting. Uh... I didn't vote for it because it just it was interesting, but um, it's not good, but it's not bad either. Uh -huh. it, 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 it did fit the bill of shooting from the hip. Shot it from the hip. Your thoughts, Sweeney? You know, I have an instinctive dislike of blurred pictures, uh -huh. but I also have to keep in mind the the limitations we had shooting this way. Yeah, exactly. Um, I act, and that, and and because of that, I actually like this image. Uh huh. What do you like? Is it well, because I, of the blur? I like that or? diagonal, even though it's going quote the wrong way. <laughs> uh, this, this is a case of where I think it actually breaks the rule and does a pretty good job of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so basically the same line that I was talking about, just yep. sort of going yep. up this trail here. Absolutely. Like okay. Anything you would have done differently, <laughs> other than focus, <laughs> other than focus. <laughs> Because yeah. I mean, because you got to think he's shooting from the hip. What yeah, about standing yeah. from over here? Maybe would would you have stood over here to get this side, this point of view of it, or would you stand over here to see what's going on with it? Looks like the butcher. I, yeah. I think I think just trying to pre-focus it and then put it down on the hip. Yeah. Um, you might have lost a little bit of the the um, dynamicism of the image, mm -hmm. but I really would like it better. I think sharp. It, I mean, there's a lot going Shopper. on. There's some cool stuff. This reminds me of a lot of what street photography street is all about. Street photography. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How come I knew you was going to go there? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think one thing you're talking about, I think it was right. If he was on the other side to kind of shoot towards, I guess, the butcher or where it is on the other side, it would have been a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I think also, like Mike said, if he could have kind of pre-focused it and then bring, bring it down and shot – it would have been a little bit better if he could have gotten some a little bit more into focus. Mm -hmm. But that's 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 a tough part of the challenge. Oh, you yes, know? Oh, yeah. it is. All right, so let's hop out of this here. Let me out. There you go. That's twice that's done that to me today. I have to hit the escape key to get out. I used to have a little X pop up on there. All right, next up, I want to look at maybe two or three more. But first, I want to go back to my man, Marcelo Alejandro Garena. And speaking of street photography, <laughs> oh, yeah. I really, really like this. I don't know what phone he used, but it, I, I guess he did shoot it and then worked on it on his computer a little bit based on the file name because 
I don't know an Android app or an iOS app that lets you name the files for your photos that quickly, um, unless you're in some type of editing app, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, but I like this shot. I don't know what phone it was, but I some can tell Andro- he's going Something down for the Android. Street. Yep. I can tell he was just sort of minding his own business, walking down the street, and decided, you know what? I like this motorcycle here, that motorcycle there. Uh, he liked the scenery of it, and I'm wondering just how sly – was he when he shot this? Because my man here in the foreground is not even giving him an, an, an ounce of attention. You know, that's right. Just totally, nope. totally ignoring. Him. So I'm wondering how, what kind of ninja move did he use to pull this shot off? I like well, that's, the. That's the tone. beauty of shooting with smartphones. If you yeah. if you if you put it down in your palm, you know, where it's just kind of down low, mm-hmm. nobody even notices because everybody's got these damn things and it just yeah. kind of. People just don't even pay attention anymore. It's just, it's just a part of life, basically. Yeah, especially if you're holding it like you're holding it, like you're uh, saying, oh, I got a text message, and you're, it yep. looks like you're uh, doing a text <laughs> message. Right. And they, they don't – people the, – the, the, unless you're holding it up to your face, then right. they know you're taking a picture. But if it's down low, they don't know you're taking a picture of them. So, so in, the old, in the old school days, the hot ticket for the street photographers were the old uh, Roloflexes. Which mm-hmm. were a T, they were a TLR, and it was a two lens reflex. Mm-hmm. I never heard of that. It was is, is you had a uh, box camera with two lenses on it, top mm-hmm. and the bottom. Oh and yeah. Generally the top flipped up, and you would look down, and then there was a prism oh. that put you through the top lens. So like a brownie. Or shooting, brownie. But the okay. bottom lens is actually where the light came in to expose the film. Okay, so that's what those are called. I've seen images yeah. of those. Yeah, they're called TLRs. Right. Something like the the, the brownie. I believe it, I believe his name of uh was a brand. That thing was that one. I used oh, to wait. wonder. I, I used to wonder um what was up with those photographers looking fact, he has down. One. There it is. There it is. Mr. Sweeney has one. Years back in. I, I used to wonder what, what the photographer was doing looking down like that, and how could they see? get any work done looking down yeah. like that instead of looking Other up way, at the subject. Bit. Can't see it. Can't see? No, he's uh, good. You're good. There right we go. There, there we go. go. Right. And then the top goes up, mm-hmm. and you would look through. Interesting. Now, the interesting oh, yeah. thing about these is the picture you see is upside down, actually. So okay. not only are you looking down, but you're looking at a picture that's upside down relative to you. Oh wow! So you had to <laughs> you had to shoot it upside down and basically yeah, yeah. train yourself that yep. okay this is the right way. Okay. Right. So that little camera that little camera I just showed you is my favorite film. Mm-hmm. It's a 1957 Yashica. Yashica. So that that tells you that we're talking old school when we're dealing with stuff right. like this. I think I, I remember know. some made by Brownie. I believe it is. Oh, yeah. That was because I used oh. to have something like that a long time ago. And uh, it got screwed up in Hurricane Betsy. Right. This so is, um, so like this, this type of shooting from the hip is very reminiscent of that mm-hmm. old school thinking where the camera's low and you, you want to be unobtrusive. So in this case, you can't look at the camera at all because it's so low. You know, mm-hmm. But it'd be fun to have kind of a little prism where you could actually put the screen and, and show it up to you as you're looking yeah. down. Interesting. Some type of little viewfinder, yeah. if you can. But I like I like what he did here. I, I love the angle and the way it's actually tilting some. Um, well, I guess that's a little more than tilting some. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit. But, Just a uh, bit. But I like it. I, I, I think it works. Um, let me switch it over to my other monitor for half a second to check the brightness. Yeah, I like that. I don't, I don't think it's too hot in any particular spot. Nope. Um, I like the, uh, I guess this is like another sepia tone again. And it works for me. And the texture <laughs> yeah. in the front. Yeah. What do you guys think? What do you, go ahead, uh, King. I tell you, well, you know, even though it's angling, I think you're right. It works. There's nothing really blown out. And just, it is remnants of what the challenge is. And I, I think even that tilt really works on this one. Normally, like Sweeney, I don't like a tilted picture. <laughs> but this one, I, I like. No, I like, I like it. tilted. I don't like crooked. Yeah, I was going to say that there's, there's a slight difference, though. There there is, is, there you is. don't want to look at it with your head leaning. 
you know. Right. I get that. Mr. Sweeney, this your thoughts? I like this picture. I like it a lot because it, it does harken back to street photography. I like the fact it's sharp. I like the vignetting he's got going on. I like mm -hmm. the bright center because that just pulls you right to the center of the image. Mm -hmm. And and I do like the tipping, tilting, whatever you want to call it, because, again, it goes back to the old school street photography where you're not really shooting for a technical image. Right. You're shooting for content. Right. right. Now, let me ask you guys, since this is sort of um, reminiscent of last week, totally different scene without these people in there. Having having the same tilt, having the same motorcycles and cars, um, having the people in it make it more interesting or less interesting? I Much think I know more interesting. Absolutely more interesting. I knew what you was going to answer, but just for the <laughs> view, just for the viewers' sake, you know. At least this one's not taken at what was it, five o'clock in the morning? In, in daylight. <laughs> yeah, in <broad> daylight. <laughs> oh, man, how did that on, happen? <laughs> no, this is at 1:04 p.m. At least, yeah, that's what it says here, 1:04 p.m. But uh, uh, Marcelo Alejandro Garena, good shot, good shot. Well done. He is going to be a good one. All right, now let's pick on this one guy I know here out in California that's burning up for once. Mr. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> Somebody's been out on the nice mornings and on the on the California coast and just enjoying him a morning run. But yeah, I wonder who that might be. <laughs> <laughs> he took his phone with him and just just shot from the hip and pulled off a really really cool shot. And this yeah, is now this from, is this is one out of eight, by the way. One out of eight. <laughs> It, wow. it took a few tries to get it. Wow. <laughs> and, well, and again, you're running and you can't focus. No, nope, you can't. You absolutely can't. I wasn't sure I was hitting the button. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I really like this. this. Which one is this? Is your 5S? Yep. Yeah, this Five, is the 5S. 5S. And let's see. Any, what type of touch-ups did you do on this here? This was Snapseed. Okay. And it was pushed pretty heavily because, mm -hmm. as you can imagine, the, 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 the camera saw the, the, the sun – yeah, and was trying to expose for that, right. which gave me it gave me a rim light, which was fine, but you didn't see hardly any other detail. Mm -hmm. And I wanted some of the shadow brought up, so I I, I took it in the snapseed and pushed it kind of hard. Now let me ask you something: What the world is this right here? What's what? You see what I'm pointing at? No. How it goes from? Oh yeah, I can see it. Look like he see like, my mouse right there. Right, it looked like there was a window there, and it's halfway right open. There, and what's right there? See the differences there? Oh, so that's 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 the framing I used in uh, Snapseed. Oh, it's emulating okay. a uh, Polaroid. Oh, I see now. Because I, okay. I noticed yeah. the frame around the rest of it. Yeah. Okay. I was just goofing around with Snapseed. Interesting. Nice goofing around, though. It didn't. It, I didn't find it distracting or anything. I just noticed it and didn't think too much about it because I knew you are shooting from the hip. So I, I figured it might have had some type nope. of... That is the... Uh, Snapseed calls that the Polaroid frame. Mm -hmm. Very I like that, Polaroid. yeah. I have not seen that one. I have to look for that. Yeah. Well, let me look at this and see what I would have done differently. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really, I really can't say... <laughs> Well, I mean, I got to give you props, considering what this angle is here. Um, that's pretty hard to do, bro. That is, that is pretty hard to pull off and while I, I running. I was moving. I wasn't stopping. Yeah, this. that's pretty hard to pull <laughs> off while running because when you're running, I mean, number one, when you're walking, you, you're vibrating and jarring just walking. And yep. if you're trying to do that jogging, mm -hmm. you're going to be <laughs> jarring and bouncing a lot more. So I, I really can't right. can't give you too much grief on it this time, but. That's okay. Yeah, this time. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just I'm, right. I'm, no. Wait, wait. California is when having a, uh, when you're driving, having a, a phone in your hand. Good thing there was no uh, chips around. Of pull them over. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. What are your thoughts on this, King? Well, besides the subject matter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you don't like the sun and all that. Yeah. No, no, no. It's just, it's, that, it's, the, it's the person in their picture. Bob. No, uh -huh. it's a great shot. I like. I like the Polaroid look and everything. It looks good. And I know there's no way to really bring up more of the detail because. Not really. Right. The, Did uh, you adjust the highlights, Sweeney? 
I did. Okay. All right. Because that with my shooting like that, the it wants to focus in on the sun, yep. and there's yep. no way to get around it unless unless you're actually no. doing something to make it sure. So, so so there was actually a thought behind that. Oh, so you might here, ask, here's cerebral again. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so so some might ask, well, why didn't you just shoot the other way? You know, put the phone put the phone in my left hand and shoot away from the sun. Reasonable question, you might. Yeah, I don't think it, it would have worked. It's well, dynamic. So, well, it's a different dynamic, but here's something even more subtle. Look at the shutter speed, or what they call exposure. Yeah. All right. It's pretty simple. One, basically one one thousandth of a second. All right. Yeah. If you shoot the other way, you're shooting in the shadow. The shutter speed would have been significantly lower, which meant everything would have just blurred out. Uh, I know. I tried. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So knowing full well shooting into the sun would push the shutter speed up, that would guarantee me at least a sharp image from a motion perspective. Hmm. You can't, you know, really you can't tell that you uh, really can't tell that he's going anywhere. Everything just looks, you know, really frozen. Yeah, well, that's like the shutter that. speed. Yeah, that's I definitely like that. shutter speed. Definitely. Interesting. And this right here, that's a really low ISO. I've, I've not seen many ISOs that low in that's smartphone the lowest, photography. That's the lowest the uh, iPhone will go. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. As it, it is seems, now. seems like the lowest I've ever seen on any of the, the um, pictures shared in the community has been like 96 or something like that. No, the, the iPhone 5 will go really low on the nice. ISO. It's, it's doing that because of how bright the sun is coming over that hillside, as you yeah. can see. And we'll have to wait difference. and see what the new iPhone is going to be like because it might be better. I don't know. Yeah, we'll find out. We shall see. We shall see. All Thank right, so much. let me hop out of here and pick on somebody I haven't picked on in a long time, Annette Holland. <laughs> <laughs> I like is that this a, shot. Is that a foot I see there? That, that's <laughs> a foot and a leg. Know. Just and a plant her foot and her leg, bro. Yeah, just might be a painted toenail. Yeah, <laughs> I like. I, I really like this one. I so voted for it. She sat there and said, "You know what? I can make this real easy. I'm gonna sit down <laughs> and shoot from the hip." <laughs> right. And you know, that, it looked like it, it looked like she did plan for it because she first got everything focused. Because you know, most everything's in focus. Yeah, just about everything's pretty sharp. Just about. And I think she focused it. Then brought it down, bang. I got to shoot that one, and then I, 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 I like what you did here. You, 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 you took the challenge, made it more efficient for you. <laughs> she uses a LG G4. That's her latest phone. Mm -hmm. um, shot with Google Photo Tools. Let's see, look to and a little drama. I can't tell. Um, I can't really see the drama filter. I figured it was just dark that way because of the shading from the balcony. Um, yeah, but I like this. I kind of see it in the if you look, and I think she might have done a little vignetting because it looked like there's a vignette, if you look around the top and the bottom, yeah, you see right a little bit there, of it right there, just barely right there. Yeah, yeah but it worked. I can't. I, I've done anything different with this because I, I, I see what her approach was, and that's that's about the only way she could do it. You know, what are your thoughts, Sweeney? I like it. I like the fact the toenail is sharp and clear, yeah. and the rest of the lake kind of blurs out. I'm always a fan of depth of field. <laughs> <laughs> depth of field, or depth of field. Mm -hmm. Well, we depth, of, the... depth of field is always so hard to do on these smartphones oh, because yes. of the pin Definitely. pin size sensors that we're running. Of course, of course. But also, anytime. if you look at the if you look at the leaves on the plant. Yep. They are. You can see the veins, so it's really nice and sharp. Yeah. As I said, this thing was perfect for that depth of field. Well, sure. I'm at, I'm looking at it, and I'm kind of wondering if she played around with a focus filter. She could very well have. Because I, the plant leaves in focus, but the bottom of the plant, which is in the same plane, is not. She could yeah. very well have. Yeah, this Probably. part here. Oh, why does my – there it goes. This yeah, part right. here is what he's talking about yeah. right yeah. here. Yeah, I. So with that, with that being as blurred as it is, that plant should have been blurred too. I wonder if can I zoom in on this? Whoops, I cannot zoom in. Last. Uh, what is did wrong? Did she? Um... There we go. <laughs> Jeez. 
I still got green leaves. No, I wish I could fine. zoom in. I can't zoom in in it. There it goes. All right, so now. Mm, I'm sure, oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Look a little closer, see. Uh, yeah, so. you're right. If you I look at somebody, it. I think somebody was playing with a filter there. You're right, because if you look at it, if you go all look all, all at at the bottom, everything's uh everything on that air that entire plane is all out mm -hmm. of focus. Everything in the middle is focused, but it works. Yeah, it works. There I am being cerebral again. <laughs> if you look right in the middle, everything's focused. If you look at so. top and bottom, it's out of focus. Very interesting in that. But it it works. Good stuff. All right. So now let's go and highlight my man Robert Knight. Robert Knight uses a one plus one stock camera on that particular operating system. It's Android, but it's of course Cyanogen mod. Um, he didn't do any post processing or any additional equipment. He just shot it and walked away. That a boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like this. This see, to me, this also says street photography. Because of what's going on all back here. Um, uh, number one, yeah, it's blurry, and and I immediately think about jackhammers or something from the construction guys. But my attention was right back here with this this cat walking down the sidewalk and the guy, mm -hmm. little guy back here on the uh, bicycle there. Um, but it's in grayscale. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's in grayscale. Pardon me again. <clears throat> yeah, there. Sorry about that. Anyway, no problem. It is in grayscale. Um, I, I don't know if taking it to pure black and white would have made much of a difference because of the blur, but all in all, I still like this photo from shooting from the hip. What are your thoughts? Shooting out of the, I mean, from the hip out of out of the window of his uh, Mustang. So well, don't we? Yes, it's blurred, <laughs> but it works. Oh my well, goodness. It works because you can still tell what it is. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. why. It, it, it's it's yes, it's blurred, but you can you can see everything. So it actually works. In fact, it adds a little bit to it, I think, maybe. What are your thoughts, Sweeney? I like it well enough. I would have liked him to post process it and kind of punch up the blacks a bit. It, it looks – it's a bit flat right now. Yeah. I think if he had cranked up the contrast, I'd like it better. A little more depth with, with black levels? Yep. yep. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. All right, but good shot, Mr. Knight. Let's go ahead and take a look at da, 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 the winning photo. Where'd it go? There it is. Winning shot. And <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Somebody went and got them a brand new phone. His name was Joey Kelly, and he found, he went out and got him a brand new phone, got him a Nexus 6, and somehow he wins the challenge in the same week. <laughs> huh. How does this happen? Folks? I don't know. He must have paid somebody <laughs> off. Huh. Interesting. But no, Joey shot this with his Nexus 6. He does Nexus 6. He doesn't mention much of anything regarding post processing. But this shot sort of hits home with me. Um, Same here. I I see stuff like this back home in, in the smaller towns, and the whole wood stove and, and the 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 local old guy with all of the the stories and wisdom and knowledge, and he's got looks like he's got 50 keys hanging off of his belt yeah. here. And the and, railroad lamp. Yeah, but, see, see, I'm looking at the legs on the right hand side. Yeah, <laughs> see, I didn't, I didn't even see that. I didn't. Even I just see that. I, that's the first time I noticed it. You, you can look at the old guy all you want, but I'm looking at the legs. <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking at the pot belly stove. And that's what I, and I just now until you mentioned something, I never I never noticed the light. I didn't see that until now, Sweeney. Thanks for ruining my moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ruining Now the other thing I reckon I, I like is some those, is those uh one of them is a railroad lamp. Yeah. The regulator clock in the background. This is it, you're right. This is like my where my grandparents used to live. I love I love this kind of stuff, man. The the, the wood floors and like Lights. I said, just the man sitting here with with the 
let me tell you about what happened earlier today with this idiot that comes walking in here and yada yada you know i i could just hear it you know what i mean and edwin <laughs> edwin boatswain pretty much said the same thing it looked like he's about to launch into a story yep. um this is, is, is uh, i really like this now um I would have been curious to see what it looks like with a little more saturation. Um, if it, I don't know if it would have ruined it or not, but I like the color green to a certain degree, and I want to see it, see this green a little more. But I couldn't do anything else different with this shot, Joey. So props to you, man. What do you think, you know, Swain? Uh, King, what do you think? You know one, you know what that looks like? An old railroad station. I think that's what he said it yeah, was. It does look well, knowing Joey, it probably is. Because yeah, between, one, he yeah. says right here, between trains today at yep, the Belfast and Railroad. Yeah. <clears throat> and, so, but you know, uh, as I said, it looks just like a old some old town around here. Cause there's several uh, towns that still have that Amtrak goes through that still has their old stations, and that's what it looks like. And now I would like, I wish. So I wish they had the big hunter ceiling fans that they used to have in had some of those places, but it just looks like old town with a pot belly stove, the uh, railroad lamps, because I see. recognize all that stuff. Because I said I recognize a lot of the ceiling stuff. fan is probably in the other wing. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I like the old the light the old. Uh, I like I, the old ceiling fans with the belts driving them. Yeah. Yes. Good gosh, man, things weigh a ton. Yeah, they do. yeah I, uh, I know. I have one. But they work. <laughs> yes, and I'm in the process of restoring it for our club. That's what's up. But man. no, um, I like the you know the old lamp, the lamps that are hanging down there. This is the pot belly stove, the wood floor, and that looks like someone's waiting for the train. And there's also the, all the railroad memorabilia, like I can see a steam engine, oh, uh, here. right there. And then of course the background with the the uh, regulator clock, which is synonymous to um, train stations. Yep. That's the ticket counter. I mean, this is great. What, what That's do you why think, Sweeney? I like it. I'd like to see it a little more leg on the right. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see what I'd like know, to see the rest of what's attached to that leg. You know, uh, I, I, no, I, I was I would say leg. this. It gives it a, it gives it a, a, a little different feel and a little different uh, I guess you could say tone to the story if well, the leg is a little more I, I like I like you got these these young pair of legs on the right and you got mm -hmm. this old geezer on the left. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there, there's there's some very interesting dynamicism that go in there. That's the word of the day, by the way, dynamicism. Dynamicism, tell it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is great, man. So now, Joey, more Joey nailed it. He, Joey nailed it. He he got a really nice hip shot here. That's what's up. All right, Mr. Kelly, you are on the clock, my man. Congratulations to you for winning. Congratulations on getting a new phone that you are. I believe he said it in the community. I finally got a new phone that I can take photos I'm actually proud of <laughs> and of course I had to give him grief because I was like uh, no brother you it ain't the phone all the time you know it's the photographer right. all yeah, right I love that one. Wow all right so Joey you're on the clock you will have to give us a new challenge um, for the week I will be pinging you directly um, tonight tomorrow sometime and just let us know when you have a challenge, and I can either submit it for you on your behalf, or you can submit it yourself, whatever works for you. All right. Um, before we get out of here, was there anything in particular you guys wanted to to chat about from the community, um, whether there was some specific shots that you got over the week um, or something that you saw in the news or what have you? Me, personally, I've been disconnected all week. <laughs> and and I couldn't tell you the first thing. I, mean, I got on the internet maybe once or twice yesterday, and um, got on there this afternoon. So I sort of feel I sort of feel lost, you know. But I said well, I'd run it by you guys. I I would, I would like to see a show of hands. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm just talking virtually here. Of how many people have bought into the whole Fitbit craze? Well, Mr. Sweeney, my hands will stay down in my pockets. You know, I got my I got my little Fitbit because uh -huh. I, I I'm kind of cerebral about my exercising. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. But what I want to point out to people is, if you're interested in a Fitbit or anything like that, a health tracker, 
and you got an iPhone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Mike. You know, <laughs> oh, geez. You might want to understand that your your ISO phone has already got a Fitbit built into it. Yeah. Uh huh. So so if you carry your phone with you, you can track your step count. You can track everything that the Fitbit does. Yep. Effectively for free, since you've already bought and paid for the phone. Yep. Uh, the only thing I would say is not quite as easy to use. But if well, you're considering trying to follow an exercise, you know, regime of some kind, this might be a way for you to leverage something you have existing that's already paid for, and uh, see if you want to pursue that type of uh, activities. Well, in you fact, know, the, in fact, the iPhone comes with a a health kit app. Yeah, that's that's what I was just yeah, showing. That's what you pointed out. Yeah. yeah, that's what he's pointing out. All right. I have what... um, I use a I use an app on my phone. I didn't want to buy a Fitbit. I, the office had given us uh, Fitbits because we did a company wide fitness challenge, and we actually still do a lot of fitness challenges company wide, and some of them include syncing up with a Fitbit, and. Of course, mine got washed in the washing machine. So, you know, oh. you know, so. so it's not so fit anymore. <laughs> no, not so much. So and it's that, more of a, it's more bit than anything now. So, so two things are proven in that instance. Number one, those things are not waterproof, at least not no, the ones that not. I had. And number two, I actually do wash my clothes from time to time. But, <laughs> but no. It, nice. So I, I wasn't going to buy another one, and I wasn't going to hassle the company for another one because, damn, I mean, they gave me one for free. I mean, I'm, right. you washed you know, it. Yeah, just, just leave it be and do something. So I just put an app on my phone, and I use that to sort of count my steps. Because, I mean, I, I, I exercise fairly regularly, but – being a telecommuter, I don't walk as much as I should, and I know that. So, yeah, I, I do watch how many steps I try to get in a day. Right now, I'm trying to get up to about 5,000 steps in a day. That's my start, and, and, and that's and that's literally and that's literally nothing. That's literally nothing, you know. Dude, dude my morning walk is is close to 9,000 steps. Yeah, that's the, exactly. You know, that's, right I, now, mean, I should be doing at least twice that a day, but I I just can't. I sit right here in this little workstation and I don't move all day long. I just yeah. I just don't. You know. Right but, now, well, today, I've had about 8,000 because I've been busy at the house because this is my day. I work out of the house, and I'm still. Dealing with tons of claims. Yeah. Normally, I try okay, to. So, walk way to some. make me feel better. So, you yeah. just sat here and said you worked out of the house. You're one or two days a week, and you still just smoke me in steps. Yep, today. he Thanks. did. I appreciate that. Just well, I got one. I got I got one better for you. Amp. So, so there's a trainer that that I have followed on on Twitter, mm -hmm. and he made a very interesting point. He goes, "Don't you dare come up to me and say you don't have time to work out." When you'll sit on your butt for an hour and watch the Kardashians. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Who, wants to, who wants to look at those air hands? Yeah. You know, he he he, he might have struck a nerve there, bro. He might have struck a nerve. You can, you can put in whatever show you want. You yeah, know? he's right, man. Yeah, good point. He's so 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 right on that one. It's all it's all a question of priorities, which is why, it, frankly, that that is really why I'm up at 5 a.m. to get yeah. my sorry butt outside at 5:30. That's what's up, man. Yeah. I'm still rooting for you on that swing. It is painful. It's a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. Hear, you should hear me bitch in the morning. <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> I really do enjoy you updating us in the community about that because that's that's good stuff to see and and it's 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 nice to root for somebody. You know, I dig that. I had um I wanted to bring out one thing um. I posted in our community, I want to say it was this past weekend, um, what is your proudest shot with your smartphone? I saw and that. I want to urge everybody to go through, urge everybody that's in our community to go through their their library of photos and, you know, pick out that, that, that one shot that you, you look at it every single time and you say, you know what, that's the one. I nailed it on that one. And then... I want you to share it to the community, but tell us why it's your proudest shot. And the thing that I that I'm hoping to get out of it is everybody's everybody's answer is going to be everybody's reasoning is going to be different. You know what I mean? Um, it could be the story behind it. It could be 
the effort you put in just trying to capture the shot that makes it s such a proud one for you. It could be your post-processing that you put into it. You learned something new about a particular app and figured out how to make that photo look the way you wanted it to look. And, you know, it could be anything. And I just wanted to see what it is with our folks in the communities that they were most proud of when they shot something with their smartphone. So go ahead and um, dig through your library and be, sh be sure to use the hashtag my proudest shot. That way we can all search it really easily and just see a list of them. I want to say where, we got where you want to post it in? Just post it in anywhere in the community where the, under, under it's general? In, you, can, no, you can do it in the iOS since you're using that. Just put that hashtag on it and it's going to pull them all up. You know what I mean? And uh, let's let's see what you guys are sharing in there. I thought I just had it on our screen. Here we go. Let me share the screen for you. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Screen. Yeah, I, I think I know which one I'll use. Where in the heck did it go? Screen share is really weirding out on me here. Let's try this again. Screen share. <laughs> and I can actually I'll show you which one, and then I'll I'll go ahead and post it. There we go. All right. So this is just from hitting the hashtag, my proudest shot. And, of course, one of the recent ones come up from Tony. You know, Yay, cause, Tony! Because we, we raved about it last week, and it's a freaking awesome shot. You know, But I, I, I just want to go through and see that kind of stuff. And this is from Carolyn up in Canada. And this thing is freaking awesome, man. You know, when you read through and see what she, you know, what she was – dealing with front far as the elements involved with the lighting and so forth yep, yep. and able to pull that out. That's the kind of stuff that I, that I personally enjoy reading. So, but anyway, let me see what you got there, Sweeney. Ooh. Take a look and tell me what you think. Dude, that's magazine. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. That looks like a freaking, like a, a diamond oh, wow. store here in town. Now wow. this, this, this is also, um, for those of you listening, this was shot with an iPhone 4S. Jeez. So what that. this is, this this was shot with a 4S using a um, Ollie Clip macro lens. Okay. And this was shot in my bathroom, of all things. Okay. So well, bathrooms you, bathrooms tend to have a lot of bright light too, though. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Um, what you've got is you've got Basically a washcloth on the countertop, uh -huh. my Mont Blanc, which of I got three or four of them. Yeah. My wife's nice... wedding ring that I had made for her, uh -huh. and I wanted to do a themed shot. So in wedding photography, a big deal is always made about the ring shot. You know, you, you got to get a ring shot, and some of my friends have spent obscene amount of money on specialty lenses to get these macro shots. Yeah. And I was talking to one of them one night, and I said, you know what? I bet I can do this with my iPhone and blow you out of the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so the gauntlet was thrown down. Oh, man. They, <laughs> they said, bring it in. Whatever, Sweeney. You just – and he brought it. <laughs> he brought it. I, I finished it. And uh, this, this took about 20 minutes to figure out. And, and to get, the depth of field was so damn narrow on this yeah. shot. It, it took a couple stabs at it to get – the diamond flat to the camera and in focus. Did a great job. And mm -hmm. uh, this is what I ended up with. And the, the interesting thing about this shot is this is one of the first shots that pushed me into writing my first book about iPhone uh, photography. That's so, you, so, so, so you're looking at the genesis of, of that whole adventure that's ongoing. <laughs> that, yeah. Sweeney, that that made the hair stand up on my arm, man. That that's that's what I like to hear. You know, mm -hmm. you you proved them wrong and said, you know what, hot damn it, there's there's millions of other people thinking the exact same way that he's yep. thinking, and they're wasting a crap ton of money when they can have a much <laughs> a much easier setup and a tool they already have in their pocket. Do it. Yeah, and right. and now and now with like the iPhone five and six. And the manual camera apps that have come out, it's even easier right. Right. because yes. now you can actually set focus and get that depth of field that you want. Maybe not as nice as this, but still, it would be a nice depth of field. I I hear you, that, and it, that's a great shot. Unbelievable. 
Good so story, I'll actually brother. post this and, and hashtag it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So, uh, Mr. King, what's this? This is this is when I, I finally figured out how to really use the iPhone, uh, the camera. Uh-huh. This is one of my best shots I've gotten. It has the depth of field. The flower, this uh, can, uh, I think they're called cannas, was perfect. And th- this was also one of the steelest days we had. And I was mm-hmm. able to use the manual camera app mm-hmm. and get everything just focused right and get everything. And I finally, as I said, I finally get in the hang of it. I'm, I'm good with the with the SLR, but I'm, I'm I've been working hard on trying to get my smartphone for, uh, pictures to be just as good. You know, I this remember is, you sharing this show, this 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 shot, bro. I remember you sharing this. And this is one of my one of the best ones I've done, mm-hmm. and I'm just getting better at it. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Good stuff. But yeah, folks in the community, um, let's go ahead and. and Jump on that. I know you guys have a ton of photos because most of you don't even delete your photos until you get a new phone and you're like, oh, I forgot about my photos. They're gone with the old phone. <laughs> you know. So I know you got them out there. And then there's others out there like myself and Sweeney and King here that are a bunch of nerds that's got our photos <laughs> backed up on two, <laughs> two or three different locations. So, yeah. So go back, out up, there. back up, back <laughs> up, back up, back up, back up. So go out there, dig through your stock, and share it in the community. Hashtag it with my proudest shot and tell us a story about it. Let us hear it. All right. I'm going to allow you gentlemen to sign out and let everyone know where we can find all of your work from smartphone photography and any other projects that you're working on because we'd like to know and we're always rooting for you guys. So, Mr. Mr. Uh, Michael King. And one, my net, my cat, my V, my VCR. VCR, <laughs> folks. He's my VCR. Computer. My computer. <laughs> Finally, I've got everything fixed where I'm not, my video's not chopping, my, neither is my audio. But I can be found on Flickr. And that's where I put everything up on Flickr, both my SLR pictures and my smartphone uh, photography pictures on Flickr. And then uh, Google Plus is where I put all my smartphones, especially in the smartphone group. But I also share throughout Google as well. Like we found everything is Michael King 4023. Oh, right. And it, the 4023 is, is the third to the last big boy ever built. That's where the ninja. That's when it came from. That's your. That's your, your trivia for the day. You know. They made twenty five of those locomotives from nineteen forty one to nineteen forty five. Train nerd. <laughs> Thank you, again, Rail Mr. Fan. King. It's, it's, train, it's, train nerd. It's always nice to have you here, brother. Appreciate you joining us. All right, next up, my man, Mr. Michael Sweeney. Hey, as you can see on my lower thirds, www.msmedia.me. That's the general go-to place. You can find me on social media there. You can find my books there. You can find me there. That's that's the go-to. But so, you can find me under, uh, you know, Flickr, under YB Normal, and you can find me over at uh, 500 Picks. That's under MS Media also, if I remember correctly. Maybe Michael Sweeney Photography. <laughs> I lose track of things. Well, the thing is, you, you struck a nerve when, when you showed your beautiful macro shot of the diamond, and it made you decide to write a book. What is what is this book, and where can we find this how book? To take, how to take amazing iPhone photographs. Oh, and you right. can find that on iTunes. Now, a fair warning, it's a little out of date. Um, I stopped at iOS 7, so and I had the uh, 5S at the time. Mm-hmm. So iOS 8 is up right now, obviously, along with the 6. The book doesn't contain that. The good news is whatever works on 7 works on 8. So there's virtually no difference in the in the content, or there would be if I would update the book. Yep. Uh, so, But for the price that is less than a cup of coffee at your local overpriced barista house, Woo, preach it. <laughs> preach it. You can you can get a book that's you know close to two hundred pages with a whole lot of pictures on how to take some really cool pictures. Very I've good. got I've got software reviews, I got how to do how I did this shot, you know, tips and tricks and hacks and whatnot. 
Yes, folks. Check that stuff out, man. Good stuff. If you if you if you could see some of the things that he has discussed over the years in the community, <laughs> as far as I mean, just little simple life hacks, you know. It, and because when you have the the DSLRs, those things, they they're, they're great cameras and have great lenses on them. Well, not all of them, but you can buy a great lens for them. But then there's the other stuff that comes along with it. You have all of the neutral density filters and and yep. and yep. all of that other stuff that along with it you can't get a neutral density filter for your smartphone what's that what's that on um, gaffer's tape anyone yeah. gaffer's tape man gaffer's tape, <laughs> gaffer's tape without it. Is always gaffer's tape is always in use around here i and, keep it like that crazy for those that don't know what gaffer's tape is it looks like duct tape Right. Except it's cloth. It's got a cloth feel to it rather than plastic. Yeah. And but it doesn't leave a, and it doesn't leave a uh, uh, a film when you pull it off. Yes. It doesn't stick real good. The the adhesive they use it's will cloth. not shed itself in five minutes on whatever it is you apply the tape to. Yeah. It will leave a residue after about a month, but it comes off. Trust yeah. me, I know. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used gaffer's tape for almost everything that I need that I just want to do something real you know, fast and dirty. It tends to be paint safe, which means you can stick it up against the wall. It yeah. won't peel the paint off as a rule. Um, there is virtually nothing I haven't seen that won't stick to gaffer's tape. Even some of the really slick plastics will stick for a while. So yeah. it, it's, it's handy. It's handy. Give it a try, folks. Just hit, hop over to Amazon or your hardware store and, and now, get you some gaffer's tape. And get the hot work. ticket, the hot ticket for, for getting your gaffer's tape. If you exactly. go to Amazon, so a single roll of brand name, film quality, similar grade gaffer's tape is about $25. You can buy the cheap stuff for 6 bucks or less. Mm -hmm. However, the ticket is you go to Amazon and you search for gaffer tape assortment. And you will be presented <laughs> with a relatively cheap package of about, I think it's eight different brands of tape oh, for wow. a very cheap price. Wow. And while there's not a lot of tape on the reel, for what we're doing with it, it'll yeah. last you know a year, maybe two. That's good so stuff. It's a cheap way to go to get the professional grade stuff. That is your life hack, folks. There you go, Mr. Swing. Appreciate you as always, <laughs> my man. That's good stuff. It's good stuff. All right. Lastly, myself. I am Ant Pruitt. Find me here on Google Plus as well as um, Twitter and uh, my website. So search for Ant underscore Pruitt on Twitter and just search for Ant Pruitt on Google Plus and uh, you'll be able to see other links to, you know, my website, the Smartphone Photographers uh, website, and it's also Amazing Phone Photos. And again, I want to give another shout out to my friend, Mr. Mike Claypool. I appreciate he is, he is always supporting us and just sharing out the Smartphone Photographers community. He loves all of the shots that you guys share. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. He's even made a couple of wisecracks about Joey Kelly in the past. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, Who hasn't? Yeah. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mike Claypool at computersbymike.com. Y'all look him up. He's all over Facebook and uh, Twitter and Google Plus. Look him up for your computer needs, and I always appreciate him for his support. And uh, thank you again to a new domain for their continued support and, and, and allowing me to write and get some publishing out there and continue to spread the gospel about smartphone photography. Thank you very much. If you're interested in joining our smartphone photography, as ugh, I can't talk because my voice is almost me, gone. Yeah. Cough again. S send, send, send us a note, ask to join. One of us mods will come in and uh, take a look at your site. Please have some pictures. Please, 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 please have some please pictures write. for us to look at. Um, we're, we're looking to see people that will be engaged and active in the community. We are not looking for spammers. We're not looking for people that, you know, want a shoulder to cry on. Um, we're looking for people that will share their pictures and have a little bit of fun and, and mix it up a bit with us. And exactly. help us out with new new apps, new stuff. I haven't had a chance to play around with any new apps recently because I've been so busy. But there's still so many free ones out there I'm looking at. Yep. And I just wanted – and whenever I find something that really is good, I pass it on, like Hydra. That was That's a, right. 
That's how we do it. And That's Sweeney exactly did it. How we do it. And Sweeney with his ma manual camera, I finally got it and said, "Wow, <laughs> my my best friend." That's it. That's his, that's and that's I think that man. video one he was talking about, I'm getting ready to get at that one. That Which video. One? That oh, video v? one. Yeah, V. V. Victor Victor Echo Echo. Victor v. Echo Echo. But yeah, folks, that's how we do it in this community. Thank you guys so much for um for your interest in it. Be sure to hit like and subscribe on this YouTube video. That way you can get the um the the feed automatically. This is the uncut version. I will be working <laughs> on a processed version here uh, over the next day or two because I, I do the processed version because number one, the screen sharing thing inside of Google Plus, it works really well. But for people that are looking at the rerun, the screen share, it, it, it just sort of gets lost. The images are way too small, in my opinion. And I'd like to be able to zoom in and allow this, the folks that are sharing the shots. I want them, I want people to see it a little better, you know, so I'll do don't, the post don't, don't, believe, don't believe it, people. He's just yeah. trying to clean up the language. And <laughs> maybe. Clean up language. We're very, maybe. We're very PG. <laughs> no comment there. <laughs> We may get you colorful know, when we're not can believe what he wants, but I, uh, have, I have bleeped myself the time or two. Yes, I have. That's okay. That's all right. Thank you, folks, again. We do this every Thursday at about 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, be sure to check us out next week, and be sure to tell a friend. And um, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out. And it's daylight savings time, not standard. Jesus. Day, 9 p.m. Eastern. Better. <laughs> just just matter. I see the uh, sun coming through my window right there just oh, now. Of course. <laughs> Take care, folks. We'll see you all.